Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, you do better than that. Praise the Lord. God is worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. Anybody here want to give God some praise for what he done last night? Amen. He continued on doing it early this morning. Yes. So I'm grateful for his uh, love and kindness into my life and the, the life of you all. Uh, I want you to know that we need to be mindful that uh, every day we open our eyes is a blessing. Amen. Uh, I was with Pastor Baines on yesterday and a lot of all the flock the house was full with Pastor uh, Sister Greenwood was there when we had one of our soldiers, uh, Pastor, that went home to be with the Lord. All right. Amen. So uh, uh, whenever you got a day that you can open your eyes. That's the day that you ought to be giving God to praise. Amen. 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 Uh, then we want to thank God that we have some air conditioning. Amen. Amen. And, and anybody besides me and my wife did not have the air was in the, in the dark and no air conditioning. Amen. Amen. So maybe nobody could be in use of it. I tell you what, look, I, I will make you appreciate the app. So we didn't have no app. We didn't have nothing. Couldn't, you know, couldn't do nothing. No internet, nothing. We just, just, you, just us and Jesus. And how many know that that's enough? Amen. That's enough. If, it, if it's you and Jesus in the house, that's enough. Amen. So, uh, we made it. Amen. Amen. I, 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 you know, it, it causes you to do a lot of thinking when you just, you can't do a whole lot of other stuff. And I found out that, you know, a lot of folks are, are, are already mad. Yes, sir. Amen. And, 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 and guess what? The Lord gave me four T's. I want you to remember these four T's. Amen. Are, are y'all ready for the four T's? Yeah. When you love somebody. Does anybody here beside me love somebody? Yeah. I'm talking about they in your heart, you wake up thinking about them. You just love them so much. And, 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 and the four T's is that uh, you need to tell them the truth. Them the four T's. Tell them the truth. Uh, it, it's something wrong if you just mad when you think about what God has already done. So what you mad about? I ain't nobody listening on that side. I'm thinking, what, what are we mad about? What, what, what is going on in our life that's got us, you know, the way we are? And you don't have nothing to say about it. Amen. 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 This man there is looking for me. They know I'm going to say something. I'm going to do something crazy. Uh, I, I come out of, the, out, of, out of my office and I got him on camera. And when I see him drive up, I'm going out. I'm going out. I, I, I want to give him a laugh. I get my laugh on. I mess with him. Because I'm, I'm just happy. I'm just, I'm just happy. And, and, and I found out back at that church yesterday, uh, we got some wonderful Urshans. Yeah. How many know that you, have, you learn to appreciate Urshans when you go to other churches? Come on, help me if you can. Oh, there ain't no mind get at Urshans, you know what I'm saying? It makes you fall in love with your own church even more. When, when you go visit other churches, we might not have no four, five hundred folks. But I understand why folks say that there's love in Mount Gilead. There's some love in Mount Gilead, but a lot of these churches ain't getting along like we get along. Pastors don't come out and mess with them and play with them. Come on, help me if you can. We don't have none, none of that stuff going on. Amen. So I want you to know that we want to continue uh, being a loving church. And because you are here today, I want you to, to know that you're welcome, and we want to welcome you to the Mount Gilead Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. Amen. And we pray that something will be said or done that will bring you even closer to your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Come on, help me if you can. I got one more thing. Uh, th 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 you know, I, got, I got talked about uh, last Sunday. Say, you, know, you know, I got an A minus. Oh, on my sermon. I said, well, good. I said, okay, okay. All right, well, I take the A minus. 
because, you know what I'm saying, if you want to make an A+, plus, he gave me the antidote. Amen. I really know, I really know that you, you can't get mad when folks try to help you. You, 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 you just take it. And I said, okay, I said, what do I need to do to make an A+. Plus? He gave me the antidote. I really know that, I, you know, that we all should be, uh, want to be uh, A-plus students, Amen. Christians, when it comes to Jesus Christ. Amen. But I got the antidote. Amen. And now I know how to make A-plus. Ain't that something? That's, 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 that's good. That's good. That's good. So, uh, I want you to know that I don't mind you uh, criticizing me. Because it's for love. Amen. It's for love. If, if I know that, don't, don't. What them 14 say? Tell me the truth. the truth. If I mess up, if I don't make no A plus, say, well, Pastor, you you, you blew that a little bit. Don't have me walking around thinking I'm an excellent preacher and I ain't done nothing to go home and talk about it. Come on, get up there if you can. Everybody make mistakes, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, am I making any sense? Yeah, 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 because I'm sure I'm going to tell you. <laughs> amen, amen. Uh, and I went, I went back and looked, and then I, I listened to the sermon. Okay. And I said, "Well, I see now. Well, I could have, I could have went on up to an A plus. Amen. Amen. You know what I'm Folks just ain't telling you nothing for no reason. Amen. 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 So stop getting mad when they really criticize you about your drumming uh, or your piano." Uh, play, you know what I'm saying? Go back and check it. Because they probably trying to make you better. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to my seat. Uh, good to see you all. Uh, David is out of town. We got a lot of people out of town. But he told me Kiara got it. Right. Kiara got it. Right. And Jeremy say he got Kiara back. Thank you, and Robert Thank say he me. got both of the hell back. Right. And everybody else got everybody else is back. Amen. So I think you're going to be all right. Amen. Amen. And, and I'm going to my seat. Amen. God to God be the glory for all he has done. Amen. 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 All he's done for me. you've done all that you continue to do God Lord God now we come before you asking God that you would have this service be what you would have it to be Lord God we thank you for those who are here God we pray for those who are absent from our from our body God Lord God I pray that everyone has traveling grace God Lord God we just want to say thank you Lord God thank you because you didn't have to do it God Lord God we thank you for sending your son Jesus to die for our sins God Lord God we bless you God we magnify you God we glorify you God Lord, Lord God you are worthy of all of our praise God Lord God we thank you for those who have been sick God who are back God Sister Greenwood God Lord thank you for allowing her to go through her surgery God and come out on the other side God Lord God we thank you for those who have gone through many situations God that you have brought them forth God Lord God we pray continue prayer for our pastor our first lady God Lord God thank you that they were able to make it through the storm God 
Lord God, we know on the north side there was a really bad storm, God, but thank you for those who were able to make it through, God. Lord God, we just thank you, we bless you, we honor you, we praise you, we magnify, we, we glorify your, your name, God. Lord, we can't do it without you, God. Lord God, we can't make it without you, God. Lord God, we can't, we can't survive, God, without you, God. Lord God, I pray for the homeless, God. Lord God, I pray for those who don't know you, God. I pray that they get to know you in a mighty way, God. Lord, I pray for my family, God. I pray for my husband and children, God. Thank you for being a keeper, God. Thank you for being a deliverer, God. Thank you for being a sustainer, God. Lord God, thank you for peace, God. Peace of, of mind, God. Lord God, thank you for just healing, God. For delivering, God. Lord God, we bless you, we honor you, and we magnify you, God. Lord God, now we pray for this service, God. Let it be what you would have it to be, God. And Lord God, we pray for your preach work, God. Let it go forth and not return void, God. Lord God, we just thank you, we honor you, and we bless you, God. And we submit this prayer in your holy and righteous Son, Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. Come on, let's get those hands and get those Hallelujah! Hallelujah! But this is the day that the Lord made, and the word that we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Hallelujah! I want you to know there's a warfare going on. We are constantly in battle. We are constantly in battle for the Lord. Hallelujah! How many of you are soldiers for the army of the army of the Lord?
Praise the Lord. We thank God for the praise and worship song. And anybody going to praise the Lord by, for what he's already done? Amen. 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 I uh, was sitting there thinking about old Manny. I call him Manny. But I, I think, what's his name? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. I call him Manny. Where we get that Manny from? <laughs> but you know what I, I, I really want to do? And I'm praying that some people will join with me. Uh, I got Manny. I want to I wanna do all I can to help that young man. And, 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 and I'm hoping that I can put some fear in him. Amen. Amen. It's the right kind of fear. I wish I had somebody that that would put some fear in me when I was coming up. Well, where I just couldn't do whatever I wanted to do. Amen. I, I had the liberty of doing whatever I wanted to do. And, and I want you to know that I'll send you in the wrong direction. Amen. Amen. So me and Manny, we're going to meet on Tuesdays. All right. All right. Sit down and talk about some things. Now y'all can't have Manny, but y'all need to find somebody. Amen. You need to get somebody that you're going to mentor in this talk church. Talk about it. Right. Uh, on a, a weekly basis or every other week. And spend time with them. That's right. And, and, and remember the four T's. You got to tell them the truth. That's right. Amen. Because if you keep doing or if you keep doing stuff that, that's not right, you're going to end up in temptation. Yes. If you make it there, you yes. might end up in your grave. Amen. 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 We don't want that. Uh, I didn't see Greenwood yesterday when I was there at the funeral. I heard she was there. Lord, he take pastors too. Yeah. Uh, pastor went home yesterday. Yeah. Well. The place was packed. Music was great. But the pastor didn't hear none of that. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So we need we need to do all we can for people and what we can for the Lord while we still yes. got breath. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking about. Man, okay, I'm gonna do all I can for the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Um, once you lay down and don't open up your eyes, that's it. That's it. That's it. And uh, uh, Robert told me about Sister Greenwood's mother, and, and we want to pray for her. Uh, and if there's anybody else in here that needs some prayer, I just want you to just come on up. Don't be ashamed. You don't even tell me what you want prayer for. We, you'll just be included in the prayer. Yeah, I want prayer for my nephew. Lived his car off last night, the car that told us that, oh. the Lord brought him out standing up. And oh, well, that is a blessing. That is a blessing. Oh, Lord. I can call this morning. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Uh, anybody else need prayer? Get it on that, on that list. Uh, what you got Greenwood. Yeah, Greenwood's mother. Yeah, Greenwood's mother. Yeah, Greenwood's mother. Yeah, Greenwood's mother. What's his name? Roger, Roger. Roger. Yeah. Okay. Paul. 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 Yeah. That's a blessing that he's still alive. I do yeah. the part of the total and he's standing up there. Look at that. Yeah. 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 We can't. It just happened this morning. Thank God. All right. This morning. I was praying for him at 4 o'clock this morning for all my family. Right. And I asked Lord just to protect him, you know. Oh. And all of a sudden, we got a phone call. And then they showed it on Facebook, too. Oh, God. Yeah. It's yeah. awful. But he's alive. He's in the hospital, and he's broken his leg, but he's, he's stable, and he's in surgery. Hallelujah. So we just that's pray good, that the good. Lord bring him out of that, too. You know? Well, we thank God that he's still alive. Amen. 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 Yeah. She bring the list, but I want you to know that you are blessed on today. Yes, yes. Uh, especially if you don't mean no prayer. You really, you really, really blessed. Yeah. Amen. Yes, Lord. Uh, I am so grateful Thank you, Lord. for the people that, uh, that worked in my life, and I'm grateful for you all. We found out that we got a pit bull in the neighborhood that's actually biting people. We grabbed Patrick by the arm. Amen. So uh, I'm going to come around. I'm going to take him out. I'm going to take him out. But we need to be careful. 
Hallelujah to your name. Glory to your great name. Lord, we pray for my friend on manager, Lord. Put your loving arms around him, Lord. We pray, Lord, for everybody on this line, dear Lord. Lord, I'm praying for kid folks and Sister Annie Evans, dear Lord. All the seniors, dear Lord. Touch Sister Ruby, dear Lord. Hallelujah to your name, Lord. Hallelujah to your name, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for revelation, dear Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Shannon's daughters, dear Lord. For winter, the Lord. Thank you for Logan, the Lord. The Lord, all of the new babies, the Lord. Oh, thank you for tomorrow, the Lord. Hallelujah to you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Kevin, the Lord. Thank you for Kevin. He could have been dead on the other day. Thank you for your presence. They just told him, just be quiet. I want to know that sometimes this just need to be quiet. This need to be quiet. Don't need to say nothing. Just, just be quiet and, and say, Lord, help me. In the south, Lord, help me in the name of the Lord. We don't have to fight our battles, Lord. Lord, we need you, Lord, to fight our battles, Lord. Help us to be quiet, Lord. Help us not to do the hand justice, Lord. Lord, just say, Lord, thank you. I ask you to touch Brother Stewart right now. The one that's bringing the word on today. Lord, we pray for his best friend, Reverend Holly, Lord. That's on vacation, Lord. Lord, we magnify and we glorify your name. Lord, we love you and we thank you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen and thank God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 
a lot of stuff that children do now because I'm working three jobs. And they didn't hear that on this side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I work in three jobs. Man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I was doing the best I could for all of my children. I had five of them. And I tried my best. Amen. So I'm standing in the gap for some of these fathers. Do the, do the best you can. Amen. Do the, and, and if you get another little break, spend some time just talking to your daughter, especially your daughter, and your sons. Amen. And, 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 and sons and daughters, you know, give, give us daddy some love. Give us, give us a little favor. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we did. We tried. We tried. We tried. We tried. We tried. We tried. We, we tried. We tried the best we could. Uh, I was really trying. I was trying hard. I had, I had five. I had lost two. Man, so that would have been seven. Oh, I, I did try. Amen. God be glory for all the men. Wave your hand, man. Amen.
And I want y'all, if you don't mind, stand and um, turn the books to Mark, the fourth chapter. How many of y'all are some believers today? How many believers we have today? Amen. Oh, I know I'll be some more than that, though. If God Amen. did things for yes. you, yes. and that's why we're shouting right now for a super faith that we know that could nobody but God nobody. do the things that he did nobody. for us. Yes. Some things that you talked to him privately, and then it came in from fruitation, and you know ain't nobody doing about that but God. Yes. The Bible tells us that, um, my people perish for yeah, lack of knowledge yeah, because they will not get off into that and read for themselves. <laughs> so when I got off into the Bible and I read, I got turned to Mark, the fourth chapter, I seen some things. I said, ooh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Because when people talk about the Bible, they tell you some things. Sometimes it's going to be right there in the Bible. be some things they add to all right, say that. Yes, sir. And sounds good. And pastor right. teaches us you need to learn the Bible. You need to read the before and the after so you know what's yeah. going on. Amen. So when I read this verse again in the NASP, the uh -huh. pastor told us we all need to get. I found out something. What did you find out, brother? It says, on that day. On that day. When evening came, that's the verse 25, he said to them, let us go over to the other side. Lord, Lord. Leaving the crowd, they took him along with them in the boat. Right, right. Just as he was, and over, and, they said, and other boats were with them. In other words, other boats were following. And they had a little, a little in, the, in the military called the legion. Of our right, right, going right, with him. Right, right, right. He said, and there, and there came, arose a fierce gale of wind, yeah. and the waters were breaking over the boat, so much that the boat was already filling up. Yeah. Amen. Jesus God. himself was in the, in the stern, asleep, on the cushion. Yeah. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care? that we are perishing. Right. And he got up and rebuked the wind well, and said to the seas, hush, be still. Hallelujah. And the winds died down and it became yeah. perfectly calm. Right, right, right. And he said to them, where are your faith? Why are you, why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? And I'm going to stop it right there. Right, right. Because he said, and he said to them, why are you afraid? Right, right, Amen. right, right. And that's what the Paul we're going to be concerned on. Why are you afraid? Right, 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 right. So for a subject, i like to pin to it. Stop panicking and start praying. Right, 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 right. Stop panicking and start praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Father God, we come thanking you for all that you have done. Yes, Lord. Father, I ask that you allow me to decrease as you increase, Father yes, God. Lord. Father, I ask, Father God, that you would just give us strength, Father God. Yes. That, Father God, that we would, we would, we would mile, mile up like wings with eagles, Father God, and we'd fly and not faint, Father God. Father, I ask, Father God, that you just touch us right now and touch us, open our minds up to your words, Father God. I want to thank you for allowing this day to come, Father God, and for me to be able to see this day, Father God. Yes, Lord. And Father, I ask that you would just continue to watch over, protect us, and keep us, Father God. In your daughter and son, Jesus Christ's name, pray. Amen. 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 Now, anybody who knows, we understood. I'd like to give y'all some, some facts and figures because of course, ever, so ever, so ever, so ever, teach. And there's things out there that we don't take particular interest on, but if you get to reading and, and studying, you'll see some stuff that will open and blow your mind. Amen. Now, I want this to stop panicking and start praying for the simple fact that we as a people have a tendency to worry about everything. All right, talk about it. Now, we just sung that wonderful song that he's a way maker, Amen. a promise keeper, Hallelujah. a light in the darkness. Right, right, right. That's who he is. But then as soon as things yes, get rough yes, and tough, yes, as soon as the gale wind starts yes, blowing, yes, we start panicking. Yes, oh, Lord, what's going on? Yes, 
But uh -huh. I started reading and I had to ask the question, what is panic? What is panic? Talk about it. And when I wrote what is panicking, I got this. It says that it is when our body starts stressing out. Uh -huh. It's when we start overthinking. Yeah. Mm, all right. We start worrying yeah. about a particular thing. Yeah. All right. And it causes us to get sick. Yeah. It causes us to do some foolish things. Yeah. It causes us to make unreasonable decisions. Yeah. 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 So it says yeah. that when you panic, you're not putting your hands in God's hands. Right. You're actually putting your hands in your own hands. Oh. Because when you panic, the first thing you say is, what am I going to do about this? Yeah. As soon as you say, what am I yeah. going to do yeah. about yeah. this? You took him out your bed. Yeah. And then he turned around and he'll sit down and say, well, let's see what they're going to do. Yeah. And it turns around that we do something, we mess it up. Right. So panicking is doing an unthinkable thing without using your faith. Doing the unthinkable thing without using your faith. Now, as I check this out and doing some statistics, do you not know that over 150,000 people commit suicide every year? Over 150,000 people wow. commit suicide every year. Yeah, oh my God. Do you not know that there's so many deaths yeah. caused by drowning? Yeah. Oh, oh. Now, let me give you a little tidbit on drowning. Over 25% of that drowning comes from somebody panicking. Yeah, yeah, that's right. In three feet of water. Yeah. But all they got to do is stand up. Yeah. Sometimes you got to stand up for what you know is right. Stop panicking and just stand up. You know who God is in your life? Stand up. But instead of standing up, we start panicking. And so many people have drowned because they panicked. That's something to think about. All you had to do was just be calm. Take your time and stand up. Uh -huh. <laughs> but see, we'll stand up for wrong things, but we won't stand up for what's right. Uh -huh. We'll stand up when someone else panic and try to tell them how to get out of their situation. Uh -huh. But when our situations come, we don't know what to do. Uh -huh. Girl, you better pray about it. Yeah, you better. If you want God, you better pray about it. That's the folks who believe in God. We'll tell them that in a heartbeat. But then, as soon as the situation turns towards us, then we forget what we told them. We don't use what we, the tool that we gave them, we don't use it for ourselves. So, as I was reading, as I was reading, I was reading, I found out that, and I started thinking back some things that happened. The situation with Enron. All right. Folks were jumping off their building downtown in Houston because they panicked because guess what? Money. Yeah. Yeah. What am I going to do now? Yeah. I don't know what to do. Yeah. All I know is it's going to be messed up around here. We're going to be broke. We're going to be homeless. We're going to be in the streets. And we don't know what to do. So instead of me being broke and homeless in the streets, I might as well jump off this building. Not realizing that if you just stop All right. and think yeah, yeah, yeah. and pray, you don't know what your situation, even though that situation might be this, the, 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 in the worst situation that you can get, in a desperate situation, there's always a way out. All right. God always gives us a way out. out. What he's wanting us to do is get out of self and let him lead and guide us in the direction that we need to go. Yeah. But instead of us doing that, we'll jump off some buildings. Yeah. Now, now, now. Right. Okay. If not jumping off buildings, <laughs> I had 
had a friend that was smart, just so smart that he played chess all the time to the point that he beat all these people. He was called a, a, a I guess you call a grandmaster or whatever you want to call it for the chess player. But he that pressure in his mind so much that he started thinking that and started seeing that people have conspiracies against him. Amen. To the point he put a gun to his head and blew his brains out. That's another part of panicking. Mm -hmm. That's another part of not trusting in God. Right. So, panicking can cause you to do dumb things. All right. That's the dumbest thing you can do is kill yourself because guess what? You can't fix that back up again. But, a bunch of y'all know some people did some dumb things yeah, when they yeah. panicking. What did you do to help them? What did you think about it? Did you say anything to them? Amen. Did you even pray with them? No. But you tell them every day that you're a Christian and you talk about God all day long. But when time comes for us to stand up and get out that water, we fail. We lay down, roll over, and drown. My God. Amen. My God. Now, in this little book of Mark, uh -huh. well. he said some things to us. That hit me real hard because I panic sometimes too. Amen. My God. I call it stress. But come to find out, stress put, almost put me in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Because it started messing with my heart. My God. And when stress starts messing with your heart, it'll cause clogged arteries. Right. It'll cause abnormal heartbeats. Yeah. So I got to the point now, I, my wife said, You don't care about nothing. Yeah, I care. Yeah. <laughs> But I just don't worry it no more. Right, right, right. right. Oh God, God. If I can't fix it, or if I don't really know the answer to it, I'm not going to sit there and Amen. stress behind it. I'm going to give it to God. Yeah. Right. If, 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 if I don't understand, if I can't do it, or if I got so much stuff piled up on me that I don't know which way to go, uh -huh. Amen. give it to God. Yeah. All right. yeah. You can't tell me that you don't get in these situations because God's fixed it. On camera over 2,000 years ago. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, I come. He said, My Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He said, There's going to be some time they don't understand what's going on, what they're doing. He said, But I'm here for them right now. Right, 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 right. He said, I will be that waymaker. Right. I will be that promise keeper. Yeah. He said, All you got to do is just let me. Yeah. So, as I get into verse 35, and 30, verse 36, my first point is, is Jesus on board in your life? All right. Is he on board or is he at the show waving to you bye-bye? All right. Because sometimes we get, we get in a situation and we, we'll take off and leave Jesus on the shore. Yeah, yeah. And then when we get in the midst of the water, yeah. then the wind will start blowing. Yeah, amen. Waves will start dashing. Yeah, yeah. And then next thing we know is we want to look around and see if it can help us. But you're not going to help or you're not going to help us yeah. right on the shore. Yeah. 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 So, as I read the city, it says, on that day, yeah. Jesus had already been teaching parables to them. Yeah. So the disciples, not understanding who God really is, even though they sit there and pronounce that you are the Son of God, but they see him as a teacher. Yeah. They said, when evening came, he said to them, let us go over to the other side. Yeah. Leaving the crowd, they took him along with them in the boat. Yeah. Well, just as he was, and the others were with him. Yeah. Now, verse 37 said, And there arose a fierce still wind, and the waves were breaking over the boat, so much that the boat was already filling up. Yeah, yeah. Now, as I read that, and I was reading that, you got to know where it was at, crossing over the Jordan, yeah. going to the other side. Uh, so, I heard a lot of preachers preach that and said Jesus was down in the midst of the boat, in the bottom of the boat, sleep. And, 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 and I'm not saying it wasn't that, but Mark says that he was in the back of the boat. Mark says that he was, the boat was filling up for the Water. Yeah. That means the waves was coming at you. Yeah. How many times you wake up that morning and all of a sudden you feeling good when you woke up? Now let, let me go outside. As soon as you go outside, 
somebody come and say something to you, ain't got no bit of sense. Or you. you get to work with a good attitude, and bam, right in your face, they want to say something. That, that's the winds and the waves. All right, 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 right. And then all of a sudden, your wife, your husband, your kids do something. And you got pretty good moves. Yes, all right. You just got to hear the word of God. And as soon as you walk out of the church, out, somebody say something to you to cause you to panic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I got to do with this person that ain't saying this to me? What do I need to do to you? Maybe y'all don't leave church after y'all heard a good word. Y'all praise God. Y'all done shot it. You ran up and down the stairs. And oh, ran up and down the, the, the crosswalks and everywhere else. Praise and God said, thank you, Jesus. Speaking in tongues and everything else. Oh, and then as soon as you step outside, Satan went right there for you. See, understand, I believe in speaking in tongues. Yeah. I believe in shouting and praising God. Yeah. I believe in dancing and everything else. Because guess what? It's in the Bible. Yeah. 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 But a lot of times, as soon as we walk out of the door, somebody or something or someone will shake your faith. Yeah. 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 Cause you to panic. Yeah. Cause you to do some unseemly yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you to go back to your old self. And then give them a piece of your mind. Right. How many of y'all know when you give a piece of your mind, you panic it because you don't know the words that you need to say? Yeah. Yeah. I tell people when my, my kids don't laugh at me, I say, what cuss words that y'all be saying, you know, I'm and all that stuff, them don't really have no cuss words. They're undesirable words. Yeah. If you want a cuss word, I pray that the locusts come eat all your crops up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cursing you. Yeah. I say, so. When you get out there, I say, but when you say them bad words, the profane, the, the, the uh, profanity words, that's because you can't think. All right. Because yeah. you're so excited because you want to say something so bad that you can't describe what you want to say so that other word come out. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 And that word ain't a nice word because when you said that word, you meant that word. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. how about reframing from that word? Don't panic. And start praying for that person who attacked you just then. And then give them something God said. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. If it was easy, Jesus would have came down for us. I'm not saying that we're not going to do it. But God said, as soon as you do it, remember, hey, ask for forgiveness. Don't forget about the loud of Ask for forgiveness. Because you know what? You're human. Yeah. That's the reason why Jesus came down because God made us. Yeah. But He know when He made us, we're gonna need some help. Yeah. Because Israel, if you look at Israel, all the time they sit there and did all kind of things because they needed help. Yeah. So in this city it says most people drown in shallow water. But then I thought about it in 1999. We had a song that I said, I'm going to party like it's 1999. Yeah. And man, did we party. Yeah. But there were some people panicking. Yeah. Because they thought that the computer was going to shut down. All right. They started taking their money out the banks. Yeah. They started hiding money. They started buying all the water up, buying all the food up, and everything as they was panicking instead of praying. Right. Yeah. 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 Because they panicked. And they start taking their money out of stuff, it caused the bank to go into default on different kind of ways. Yeah. That caused a problem. <laughs> they start buying all the water, which means that some folks didn't have water. Yeah. They bought all their food up and stored in all their storehouse. They guess what? Some of their food called freezer burn. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because they panicked. Yeah. Yeah. And when 2000 came in, yeah. it was the same thing as 1999, the day before. Yeah. What? Nothing different. Some folks said Jesus was going to come back in 2000. Yeah. Because it was 2000 years before we went. They made their own idea. Jesus said, No man knows the when, the day, nor the time. Yeah. He's coming back. Yeah. But everybody wants to predict these things. Yeah. So in 1999, all those things happened. But then I found out that even today, when they said that President Trump was going to Warm, oh, the world for the end now. He's the Antichrist. Yeah. But my daddy taught me, my mama taught me, pay your bills. Yeah. Do what God say do. Yeah. Follow that Bible. Yeah. And no matter who comes in as president or what they come in to do, it won't hurt.
hurt you. Don't panic because somebody got in the office. Don't panic because they changed the managers. Don't panic because they started to fire people. Just pray. But because a new manager come in and, oh, he gonna try to do this, do that. Oh, he gonna stop. I'm worried about my job. Don't worry about your job because if God gave that job, he'll give you another. That's better than the one you just had. But we have a tendency to panic because what? They did a survey. As a matter of fact, it wasn't a survey. It was a, a little reenactment. And people would sit down like y'all. And all of a sudden, somebody jumped on the ticket out of the ground. And then everybody else started taking out the ground. They know what's going on with that ticket out of the ground, too. So one person panicked. So since that person was panicked, all the black folks, everybody started running. Why? Because they don't know what's going on. They're not going to stay there to see what's happening. But the people who stood there and stayed there, they got a blessing. Sometimes, as God said, you have to be still, be quiet, and know who God is. Instead of you doing what somebody else wants to know, you got to run too. Stand on God's word, and you never will lose. The second point I want to make is don't panic. Just call on Jesus. Now, we realize that. He was in a boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. And other boats were starting. Well, How many of y'all know when you're doing good, or when a, a famous person comes around, everybody got a tendency to want to follow and be around that famous person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Everybody wants to be a winner, but nobody wants to be a loser. Amen. That's the love to win. That's right. But if, if you beat him one game, he said he's not a loser, he's just we need to play another game. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best two out of three. And then if you lose two out of three, you can pay the best three out of five. Yeah. And he's gonna keep on till he gets you back. Because you like to lose. But if you lose, don't mean you have to panic. Just pray for a comeback. Just pray for a comeback. You can't win all the time. But you are a winner no matter what. Amen. Because when Jesus died and rose the third, that made you a winner. Yeah. So no matter what happened, what that man said, we win. Yeah. We're waiting for the end of the game. Yeah. So verse 38 says, Jesus himself was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. I used to relax. And, and as my little youngster said, he was just yeah. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, you not care that we are perishing? And I thought about right that. First of all, the stern. What's the Duke Fowl Dictionary says, the stern is at the back of the end of the boat. Right. Next to the engine. Right, right, right. Which drives the boat. Yeah. It is the lo it is the location for seating or land or storage. Okay. Probably the place where you keep Jesus until you need him. Yeah. Yeah. I have to let the tip off now because guess what? When we go things are going good and we feel like we got our pockets fat and everything else, we'd rather do call on Jesus. Right, 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 right. Until that storm comes. The storm came from the, the storm came from a word meaning to steal. So when I seen that word, they let me know that it wasn't no big old boat that he was sitting in the bottom of, according to Mark. But what it let me know is he was on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the tidbit of it was he was there with an engine. Yeah. Amen. So if you got Jesus on your life and Jesus is on board, yeah. who's steering your board? Your boat. Right, right, because right. he was steering. Right, right. He was by the engine. Yeah. The boat, which back then it wasn't no engine now, but they had a paddle back there. Well, everybody's still, but he's back there where he could be guiding you. The other man was in the front and in the middle. Sometimes you got to understand that even though things look bad, Jesus ain't left you. Amen. He just relaxes until you call him. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When he, you call him, he stands up. Yeah. They didn't have to shake him or beat him. They said, teach. Him. Do you not care? But it's one thing I had a problem with. They didn't say, do you care about us, all of us, Christian? He said, you're talking about them. So it was right there. Because they knew that you couldn't 
kill Jesus. They know he was a child of God, but they wanted Jesus to do something right then and now. And that's the problem. Sometimes we want God to do something for us right then and now. Right, right. But that song says it might not come when you want it. Right, right. But it's right on time. Now, if he is the creator of the heaven and the earth, uh -huh. if he's the one who separated the land and made the sea, yes. don't you think that he's the one who can control the sky, yes. the wind, and the rain? Yes. So why would you stress and worry about dying in something that he's right there with you? Amen. Hallelujah. A lot of times my mom said, don't drag Jesus in your mess. You uh, pray in your mess, you fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stop worrying about it and pray about it. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we create stuff on our own. Yeah. Right. And then it start panicking when it don't turn out right. Yeah. Then we want to get upset with other people because it did not turn out the way we thought it should turn out. All right. And then you say, what, look what you got me into. Knowing all the time you, you're the author and creator of that mess you just got yourself into. Right, 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 right. So, suicide lets us know that a person didn't wake up Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. It lets us know that they didn't know the way out. Amen. How many of y'all know just a good talk with Jesus? I mean, everything all right. When you pray, you talk to Jesus. You look at your connection up to the lifeline. When you pray to God, you let them know that you understand that he runs everything. And that you need him every hour. Every minute, every day. But a lot of times when we get a bunch of money in our pockets, right. we forget that we need to pray. Yeah, yeah. And then some of us pray just because it's traditional to pray. Right. The same old prayer over and over and over again yeah. and expect a different result. Right. Right. All right. Pastor tells us all the time, all you got to do is talk to him. He's your friend. Yeah. What a friend we have in yeah. Jesus. Right. 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 If he's your friend, talk to him. Yeah. 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 Tell him all about your troubles. Yeah. Tell him. But a lot of times we don't tell him because we're ashamed of the stuff that we did. Yeah. Yeah. Not realize he already know what you did. Yeah. But we don't want to tell him because we don't come to ourselves and say, Man, did I really do that mess up stuff that we Jesus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, on the third part, it says, draw strength from your prayer. All right. Amen. Draw strength from your prayer. Amen. First number 39 says, and he got up. Uh -huh. Oh, he got up. <laughs> And rebuked the wind Thank you, Lord. and said to the sea, yeah. Hush, yeah. be still. Amen. How many times Jesus told you to hush <coughs> and be still? That's what he said. Just said it, just did. Sometimes you need to hush sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes when you got a situation and you know that the storms is raging in your life and you don't know who to talk to, Amen. just hush. Amen. Take it to the Lord. Amen. Tell him all about your troubles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he will. Y'all say that he's a he's a provider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him provide for you. Hallelujah. I was doing a job for a person the other day, and I was building a deck, but they want to kept on trying to tell me, what do you mean? Oh, oh, I come out there in the booth for I said, You paying me to work. You the client. I'm the worker. Yeah. So let me do my job. Amen. Yeah. Jesus telling us today, let him do his job. Yeah. Yeah. He came here to help us. Amen. But a lot of times we don't want to help. Right. We won't do it ourselves. Yeah. 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 Now realize as soon as you do it yourself, no turn right, you got to call on him anyway. Yeah. So why don't you cut out the middleman yeah. and just pray? Yeah. Yeah. Talk to God. And then step back and let him sit there and do what he do. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Right? It says that, he said, hush, be still. 
I don't know what you tell me about that, but I'll just be quiet. When the storms came and it was lightning, them old folks have put covers over the mirrors. Uh -huh. So they just didn't know what I'm talking about. Because you know, they cover the old mirrors and they, they cover up the windows and everything. Yeah. They tell you, get in that corner, be still, you get out still word while God is working. Uh -huh. But now, when the storm comes, we're going to get out there and see. Yeah. Turn the storm down and think the wind blowing hard, they're going to chase the tornado. Yeah. And they want to the, wonder why they get sucked up in the wind. Yeah. Keep on chasing them storms if you want to. You're going to get sucked up in one of them storms. And yeah, the next yeah, thing you know, you're going to commit suicide. Yeah. I love tornadoes, but I got enough sense to go down in the bottom and be quiet and be still. Yeah. Because of the situations that are going on today, we think we know more than God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to tell you, you don't. There's no way you can know more than he knows. He said, ever learning, keep on learning, learning, and still not even have a teaspoon of taste of how good God is. He said, and the winds died down, and it came perfectly calm. Amen. When things is calm, it says peace in the valley. When there's peace in the valley, everything goes all right. When we be quiet, and we just let God do his job. Yes, God. If we let God do what he do, yeah. well, and we keep our fingers, our tongue, our mouth, our nose, out of other folks' business, yeah. out of our business, yeah. and let him do what he do, yeah. Yeah. there'll be peace in the valley. Yeah. I'm here to tell you that he said to them, why are you afraid? Yeah. Yeah. I'm asking you today, why are you afraid? <coughs> when storms come, why do you get afraid? Oh when the bills is due, Amen. why do you get afraid? Because somebody says to me, if you need him, just call him. If you're in a situation that you don't understand why everybody hates you or throwing shade at you. Understand that Jesus loves you. Amen. If you're in a situation where your rent is due, My God. understand his word says that he will give you cover. Amen. I give you shelter Hallelujah. in the midst of the storm. Amen. That's his word. Amen. If you're in a situation yes. where you got a bad medical report saying that, oh, you got cancer, or you got sick, and then you start panicking, oh, Lord, what am I going to do? Understand that God says he can heal yeah. Yeah. everyone. Amen. He left you some examples. The one with the issue of blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blind man. Yeah. And when the, the man that was sitting on the side of a Bethesda, all his friends and family left him alone. He had nobody to put him in when the angel come down. Jesus and them just said, hey. He said, Jesus, Jesus, help me. Sometimes you just got to call him. Just call him. If you're hungry, he said, I'll give you bread. Ask the people, the 5,000, that he fed with two fish, five loaves of bread. And then back him and did Another 4,000. Yeah. All right. If you're thirsty, he said, oh, drink. He said, drink for me. You'll never, never be thirsty. That's yeah. what he said. Yeah. Well, I'm giving you examples of just use the word. Amen. Just use the word. Yeah. The word says that over 2,000 years ago, My God. God sent his only begotten son. Yes, 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 yes. Some call him Emmanuel. Yes. Uh -huh. Some call him the lily of the valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some call him the bright and morning star. Some folks say he's Jehovah Jireh. Some say he's Jehovah Nisi. But whatever he is to you, call him. He said that over 2,000 years when he came, Thank you, he was wrapped in swaddling cold. He hung amongst the, the animals. 
And then while he was there, he grew strong. And black strong in God's word. Yeah. But there's something else. Right up in there, he said that he was at the age of 13. At the age of knowledge. Where the kids ought to know what's right or wrong. If they don't, the Bible says, whoop them. Yeah. And if you don't get them, beat them. That was at that point. This is the Bible. But he said that, don't you know? That must be about my father's yeah. business. Yeah. Think about this here. He came for you. He walked these earthly shores for you. He healed the sick to show you what he can do. He raised the dead to show you what he can do. He fed you. He cleaned you. He fixed you up. He got you in a situation where you can drive new cars. Uh -huh. If you can't afford a new car, he can drive a fixer up. And guess what? He'll fix it where that car never break down on you. He got a fixer up. We buy houses bigger than we ever had before. Back home, we got slave houses and little shacks. But look how, look how we living now. So we living like this. We walking like this. We eating steaks and T-bones and ribeyes. Why in the heck are we yeah. panicking? Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Why are we worried? Yeah. Why are we stressing when we know who Jesus is? Yeah. If you don't know him, you need to get to know him. Yeah. 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 Because he went to court for you. Yeah. Right. When they accused him of doing some things that he did not do. Right. Yeah. Right. The same people. Who sent, he fed the same people uh -huh. who he gave water to the same people that he said they healed, yeah. accused him, yeah. and said, I'm not mine. Come on now. But because he loved us so much, uh -huh. he died for us. Yes, yeah. 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 he did. He hung on the rugged cross. Uh -huh. They ripped his feet. Yeah. They staked his hands. Uh -huh. And then he said, Father, Forgive them so they know not what they do. That's the reason why you shouldn't pay because God says forgive them. You are already forgiven. He already fixed it on Calvary. And then he said, No man can take my life, but I give it. I'm going to give it to I'm going to give it because guess what? Pastor Moore needs my life. I'm going to give it because Brother Brown needs my life. I'm going to give it because Jeremy. Needs my life. Yeah, yeah. And when he did that, yeah. he showed us that he loved us. Yeah. So much that he got a borrowed tomb. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he laid there. Yeah. They closed that tomb up. Yeah. He laid there. Yeah. Then he went down the pits of hell. Yeah. And he preached to the captains because his word says that everybody, All right. everyone yeah. has to hear about to say. Yeah. And because you're here today, your life can be changed. Yeah. They have songs that don't worry, be happy. Yeah. I'm telling you, don't worry, start praying. Yeah. Because God is good. Yeah. Why I know He's good? Because He got up yeah. that third day morning. Yeah. With all power in the heaven and earth in His hands. Yeah. Power to resurrect your life. Yeah. Power to feed you. Power to keep you. Power to let you know that he's your, that you his own. Hallelujah. Can't nobody love me like Jesus. Amen. Can't nobody love me like the Lord. Amen. People might tell you they love you, but when you got a, 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 a comforter like Jesus, Lord, when you got a person who laid out his life for you, Amen. don't panic. Yeah. Don't get upset. Yeah. Just pray. Yeah. The communication to heaven is through prayer. Yeah. The communication to life is through prayer. Yeah. The communication to the folks who are your enemy is through prayer. Yeah. Whether your sisters or your brothers, pray for them. People who defight you and use you, pray for them. Because I promise you, if you keep panicking, you're going to stress out. You're going to end up in a place that you want to, you don't want to end up in. Mm -hmm. But if you start praying, yeah. start seeking his face, I, love I promise you, 
that 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 panicking would come to a calm storm. Yeah. And how many of y'all know that after a storm, there's sunshine? Amen. Amen. How many of y'all know that after a storm, there's a, a rainbow? Amen. How many of y'all know that after a storm, things happen? Yes. In Dallas, when you go to Dallas on I-45, Hallelujah. soon as you drive here, you see the big old clouds covering <coughs> Dallas. But when them storms come through, it gets rid of that mess. So when your storm in life come through you and you pray, yeah. guess what's going to happen? Hallelujah. God's going to give you that Amen. message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. And guess what? They yeah. said, happy times it will be. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We thank God for the word.
Well, there's some good stuff and some wisdom there. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. So we think uh, Matreo, uh she's what, 19 on, uh, she made 19. 19. She don't look 19, but you know, uh, uh, her mother is here and we thank God for her. Her uh, husband was here a couple weeks ago and we thank God for them. Amen. Shannon got her girl with her. Amen. It's good. good to have visit cars in the house. Amen. And if there's nothing else, and all the rest that are visiting with us, we want you to know that we, we're so glad that you're here. We pray that God has said something will draw you just a little closer than what you already were. But we thank you for being here. May God bless you and keep you. Let us stand. We're going to get on out of here. Amen. Who is that? Carter, watch from Las Vegas. Oh, Reverend Carter's in Las Vegas. Hey, Amen. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to top it off somebody. You know what I'm saying? I am. You know what I'm saying? We went out of town. Now like everybody want to go out of town. You know what I'm saying? Reverend Holly out of town. Reverend Carter out of town. I still want to be going out next week. But that's all right. It's all right. It's all right to have some fun. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. But I, I just love seeing Reverend Carter. I love seeing all of them. Put that I don't call no name. Amen. Yeah. But God bless you all and may God keep you as my friend. We pray that you have a blessed rest of the day. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, like OG and Pam will say, y'all come back now, you hear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On Tuesday. So God bless you and keep you as my friend. We are dismissed. Amen. 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 Amen.